Do you have a moment? Did you need something, Ambassador? Yes. Well, not precisely, but... I should like to know if anyone here has treated you unkindly, Hert, for being an elf. I can deal with a few whispers and sideways looks. I shall speak with the staff regarding such conduct. If we are to convince the world that Andrastis Herald is an elf, the Inquisition must give you its utmost support. Stories of wild Dalish elves have grown even more outrageous as people learn of you. How have the rumors gotten worse? I would prefer not to repeat them. Give me something. Stealing children, selling peasants to slavers, burning down villages, using infants for blood magic. Those are the stories about your fellow Dalish. I won't repeat what they've said about you. Isn't the magic just as much a problem as my ears? It depends which way the wind is blowing. Magic is meant to serve man, the chant teaches. Close the breach, and we can claim that is why Andraste chose you. Hopefully it will be enough to replace this gossip about the Dalish. Why not claim the Dalish can steal your breath or turn into dragons while they're at it? Now that I've said that out loud, someone probably has. Very likely. I will see what the Inquisition can do to contain the slander. It may help if I know more about how you and your clan lived. Getting up before dawn to fish, constantly mending wagons and tents, spending days on the hunt. I still can't believe city dwellers have food delivered straight to their doorsteps. Really? I never considered it extraordinary. Haven is so far away from home. You must miss the people of your clan. If I'd never left home, Josephine, I never would have met you. That would be the greater tragedy. What? Really? There is more to this, Master Llewellyn. Whatever comes, your role as Andraste's Herald will mark your clan in history. Elves have been swept under the rug or worse. Rarely acknowledged as a part of this world. This is our chance to be a force no one can ignore. History should look out. I believe you will succeed. Thank you for your time, Herald.